right, what's going on, guys? It's Sheb. Real quick, thank you guys so much for all the support on yesterday's video. Topped out at number six for gaming, which is, I'm pretty sure, the highest any of my videos have ever been on. Uh, and obviously, I couldn't cover everything on season four. Uh, but what I ended up concentrating on in that video, at least in the title and stuff like that, was that I mentioned that season four is here, but they didn't give us a sniper rifle. They gave us sticks. Literally sticks. I have Damascus and Obsidian for the knife. So I figured, hey, when this thing was going to come out, I thought that these sticks would just be kind of like a variant of the combat knife, kind of similar to how the variant of the combat knife also has like axes and stuff. But it actually turns out that the Kali sticks have their own separate thing. Well, I'm going to assume when now that this dual wield thing is here, there's going to be variants of this in the armory and stuff. This is probably where the swords will come from. But I took the liberty of being one of the only people on the planet that want to do this. Now, now given, I'm sure that there are other people that already have it by now, but uh, I finished this last night. So within the first day, I ended up unlocking Damascus sticks. I don't want to show it to you guys at the moment because when you think of having a stick, okay, here's a stick. This is your stick. You see the stick? This is now your stick. When you think that there is going to be a camouflage that you could put over said stick and you are familiar with what Damascus looks like, you decide, hey, I'm going to go and put Damascus on my stick. It should, in theory, have all of the Damascus looks to it across the entire stick, correct? It should have color. I, I should be beating the out of people with rainbow sticks you know what i mean now when you go over here and look through all of the other camos they do not go over top of this stick very well at all it's it's very very strange looking not very clean or, or whatever and usually you would be able to fix something like this by putting this now let's go and take a look over here at what you know the stripes camo looks like on this it still doesn't fix it it's still kind of broken so it seems like damascus as a camo actually has a point where if anything is like covering it or has any kind of dirtiness look to it, Damascus itself will not actually show the rainbowy part. Instead, you'll only get blue squiggly lines. I spent the first day of season four knifing or sticking, I should say. That that sounds weird. I spent the first day hitting people with this goddamn stick. It really wasn't worth it. But here, I'll, I'll go into private match because I really don't want to use it anymore. So let's go in the scrapyard just, you know, so it's a, a good look or whatever. Uh, go into realism. Apparently, Jessica, I missed weight again by like a quarter of a pound. Regardless of which one I pick, this is the same result every single time. I just end up having this weird uh, matte gray blue squiggly stick. Yeah, so as you can see, I mean, looking at it, Man. I was expecting to get full-blown Damascus on these things. It turns out, no, they're just blue sticks. I, I don't... Beat his ass. I was trying to, like, get him to stand in the sunlight, but I didn't expect him to straight up just dome me like that. I was expecting to actually have, like, the, the bright colors, the, the greens and the turquoises and uh, other colors that this thing had on it. But it turns out that, uh, well, uh, it's not happening. So I spent and wasted my life away actually unlocking these. Uh, I could drag this video on to be like 10 minutes plus 20 minutes or whatever, not edited, all this other stuff, but honestly not entirely sure what I want to do with my time anymore. After I unlocked these, I started like going into the SMG. I was using the, uh, the AUG, trying to just get Obsidian for those, but since I don't have shipment to play on anymore, this is slowing the process down such a disgusting amount that um, I, I don't, there, there's really no reward ultimately for unlocking everything Obsidian anyway. There's no reward for it. I don't really get anything for it. Now, does that mean that there, you know, will or won't be some sort of reward at the end of it all? I, I don't know. It's been eight months. I really can't wait much longer. I'm going to be real. But I mean, again, what else am I going to do? Play Warzone? Y you know what I mean? Like there's no real actual challenge in that sense, if you know what I mean. Especially if I'm playing solo, you, you guys already know how solo goes. Get a win or two, you know, edit it together, give it a good vibe and everything. If it's fun and everything it makes for good videos but past that point actually making content on warzone it's not like i'm saying multiplayer is much better but i, I don't yeah these are the damascus kali sticks sticks or whatever i don't know what you want to call them but yeah I, I honestly i really wish that i had cooler sticks to show for all of my hard work but this is kind of the the, the story of this game a lot of people are like dude why are you wasting so much time doing things that no one cares about they don't do a good job at incentivizing you to like for example how am i gonna tell somebody yes man you absolutely Absolutely need to go for Damascus on the sticks if you're a knifer. You get rewarded so well for it, it looks so good. And this is what they get. I did think about trying out the Fennec or the uh, Galil or whatever. I can't get into the hard point because it's 
Hello. Don't worry about it, man. The game punishes you when you win anyway. I can't get over how nice and bright this map looks on this version of the map. The multiplayer version of Scrapyard looks beautiful. And then they'll sit around and wonder why people back out of game after game after game. It's because we're not playing the maps and modes that we want to. And when they finally do, the spawn system doesn't... <laughs> doesn't care about your feelings. PS5 event ended up happening. They showed uh, Demon Souls, uh, Resident Evil 8 Village. When I was watching the Village uh, thing, I was like, I was sitting there looking at it and I'm like, stylistically, this kind of looks like Resident Evil, man. I was like, some of this looks like Resident Evil 4, the way that the characters look. And then the styles started coming in. And then when I saw the one dude in like the trench coat, dark top hat with like the weird glasses on, I was just like, nah, that, that's Resident Evil style, man. It has to be. And then they showed Village. And I didn't look into any of the leaks on, you know, uh, Resident Evil 8 Village, so... I, I had no idea it was even named Village, so I was like, oh shit, Village, that looks neat. And then it just pops up Resident Evil, and I shit my pants. It was beautiful. Mmm! The reveal! Okay, looks a lot cleaner than oh, I thought it. Oh, okay. Can't wait for people to snap off the edges of their plastic thing. Just drop it on its side. Oh my god, it's got ports! It's $800 if you don't show the price. It's $800. It's definitely $800. Wait, two of them. Wait, what? What the fuck is the difference? Uh, what else did they show that was really notable? Uh, the Demon Souls remake, that looks incredible. It looks amazing. I did not get to play the original Demon Souls in my life when I was a kid or anything. So uh, for everything that I hear about that game, it's incredibly hard and... I'm going to assume the redone version of the game is definitely going to have a lot of really challenging things in there. At least I would hope so. I can't imagine that they would make the game easy. The all get incredibly close ranges almost loses every single time to the MP7, the Fennec, and the MP5. It's not like it doesn't do damage. It's just like when you're really, really close within like five to 10 meters and if they land every single shot, that Fennec. Has anyone done any math on that shit yet? I swear that the Fennec kills faster than the MP5. If it doesn't kill as fast as the MP5, shit. it's gotta kill so close to the MP5 speed. It has to. Contemplated going down the ARs and then the SMGs, and uh, I'm just not entirely sure what to do. After I finished doing the, you know, new edition sticks, since they're not a part of the base game, they're not base weapons, I'm trying to do the base weapons in particular, and uh, I just can't imagine me having to do this on all on Scrapyard, man. Like, Scrapyard's not a bad map, man. Don't get me wrong. It can have a lot of games where I drop, you know, uh, 60 plus, 80 kills, 100 kills, stuff like that but there i have to actually use my brain and work hard to actually do it whereas in shipment i'd have a hundred people spawn in front of me every single game even though my brain was melting this entire process is tedious just trying to level up and everything too so i'm like half sweating and stuff although i would love to be able to just you know snipe and things like that but at the same time I'm just gonna feel like my problem is that I always know the things that I feel like I should do or the things that I've started I always feel the need to absolutely finish them and that's a good thing That's a good quality to have except when you accept every single challenge that comes in your way in the sense of uh, Ridiculous challenges like getting obsidian for every single weapon. There's really no point I I'm putting myself at this ridiculous not fun position for the sake of what every single video that I have I'm sitting here trying to talk myself out of it I clearly don't want to be doing it, but here I am. I mean if you guys want to win so bad that's fine i'm, I'm out man I, I just i don't want to play anymore i'm sorry i'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow